Hi, folks. You're watching WFN Green. I'm your host, Emmanuel Bellavo. The Fishery Center at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver houses an exceptional team of researchers whose mission is to restore fisheries, conserve aquatic life, and rebuild ecosystems. Dr. Billy Christensen is among the faculty working on the cutting edge, using ecosystem modeling to visually augment their research. What we've done, I think we're actually the first who has ever done this, is to link a scientific model running in real time to a gaming engine so that we can display in an underwater world a virtual scientific finding Nemo. It's a bit like a flight simulator. You can, for instance, change the fishing effort, how much fishery you allow, or you can decide to close off an area to fishing. And then we're running the best available scientific models to predict in real time what the implications are. What we're trying to do is to make a war room just like in Pentagon, before they go into another country, I'm sure they sit down, the generals would sit down and play out various scenarios. We would like to see the managers of, of ecosystems do something similar. In real life, at the management table, you might well be hesitant as a participant to have that up in the open. But in the gaming environment, as we have it here, you can try out things. You can learn what is the reaction of the ecosystem. We are rethinking how we communicate the science. How do we get it across to the managers? How do we get it across to the anglers, to the fishers? How do we tell what is happening in the ocean? We can use this in the educational sense to bring on information about what has happened in ecosystems, how they, how they have changed, how they are now, and how they may be in the future. That's what we're trying to do with this. So we think there's a really powerful message to come from this tool.